Uh, what is up, guys? Matt the Gamer here. Um, today I have an official, unofficial playthrough of The Binding of Isaac. Now, I have never done this game on camera before, but I have done a crap ton of it offline. Uh, so pretty much what I'm trying to do in this run is I'm playing as, you know, Isaac. Because I, you know, I have every character in the game, but what I'm doing is playing as Isaac. I'm trying to unlock Mom's Knife still. Like, that's a great way to start, honestly. And, uh, what happens pretty much once I get Mom's Knife is I'll have one of the best items in the game. For the rest of the game. And I know, I have, a uh, visual evidence of what the item does and the benefits from it. And all, from experience from, I've known from seeing other people's playthroughs from this game and stuff, is that it's one of the best items in the game. I personally think... The wafer is the best item in the game. Now everyone's gonna say Epic Fetus. Oh, Epic Fetus is the best item. Epic Fetus. You know. I understand your thought process behind that, but I think the wafer is the best item in the game because a half heart, every damage. So even bosses sometimes do a heart and a half of damage instantly, half a heart of damage, which is really great for late game. Like you know the womb levels and stuff when they do a uh, one a, a whole heart per damage, and normally it's just half a heart. So uh. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing this game again sometime, but, you know, maybe soon, I don't know, but I'm not going to be able to play it for, like, the rest of the year, I just wanted to get a, an early playthrough down, you know, I'm going to be busy doing it, home stuff. So, the next time I'm going to be playing is either, uh, in September-ish, you know, or, like, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I'll, just, you know, I'll figure it out, but probably not for another couple months, because, you know, don't feel like it. I'm going to be doing different live streams and stuff. Temperance, this is the, what is this, the, the blood donation. Just going to get rid of that. Yay. One penny. <sighs> you love to see it. Pretty much all I can say is as long as we have this, uh, you know, Polymorphous, then we're going to be set because, you know, it does max damage, which is ridiculously overpowered for early game. And if you combine that with Quad Shot, I think it's one of the best synergies in the game. If you've never played this game, you don't know the definition of synergies, it pretty much means combo. I'll definitely take that half. A heart or a soul heart for one mom. Alright, let's go. Duke of Flies, easy. Easiest boss. As long as you're careful, you can easily kill him, but if you're not as careful, it takes about a heart and a half to kill. But yeah, definitely one of the easiest starter bosses. For anyone that's, you know, freshly in the game. That was like one of the best pill runs I've ever had right there. But most of the tip behind pills is if you're desperate, you know. If you're desperate for anything that can help, like. Like pretty much I always am. So like. You get a pill. Eat it. But if it tells you in the very, uh, on this side of the screen over here exactly what it does, like, it's a bad trip, then what you're supposed to do with those, now, that minus is a heart, either soul heart, sacred heart, or, say, uh, yeah. red hearts, uh, sacred heart to the white ones, they're extremely rare, so I think it's one in ten from a, from any spawn room that spawns, has a heart in it. Oh, that's a troll bomb. That spikes. But uh, once it does, pretty much is if you get two of them on on one run, it combines and gives you a full heart instantly, an extra heart in fact. So instead of having five here, you'd have six after that. Well, I technically still ha I'd have five, but you know it'd combine. And then I'd have six full. I'd have six hearts, but five full. And sacred hearts are you know the gray one. I do not like this boss in the slightest bit. 
one of my least favorite bosses in the game because of how extremely fast he moves. It's almost impossible to dodge. You have to be pretty much standing on the other side of the room. Ooh, devil one. Krampus. Oh, they're... Well, I didn't mean to grab that, but, you know, whatever. Might as well get both, just to... What's my stats? Yeah. I mean, I'm back to three hearts, but they were really both good. Pretty much what uh, uh, the nail does. It's one of the best defensive items in the game. You have to be uh, mom or mom's heart three times to get it. And what it does is when you uh, when you use it, you get a soul heart instantly. I will right now because you know I want that soul heart. It gives you max damage from that room, and it kills almost anything it touches instantly except the boss. Except the boss. From what I know. And I grabbed the sister Maggie because you know extra shot. As you can see, I'm firing two shots because you know. The, the sister fires one. Any NPC, pretty much every NPC fires an entire heart. Oh my god, another health up? I'm back to five hearts already. I was at six when I grabbed him. But anyways, the devil room is pretty much what you do. So you can trade hearts or soul hearts to grab an extra item. And, you know. Sometimes if you go to the devil rooms. Oh, I'm going to get the common cold. Yes. Wait. Oh, right, that was in my other run. Frick! Ah, uh, I'm still trying to get the common cold. You have to get two of the needles, two of the three needles. There's four needles, but, you know, it doesn't count one of them. What did I get? Did I get roid rage? I, I don't remember. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I think I got, yeah, I got roid rage. No, I got, sp I don't remember. But yeah, some synergies do cancel out, like, even if you get, like, a synergy that increases your speed, ch chances are if it's, a uh, you know, it's a decreased speed, like, Polymorphous instantly brings your damage to max, but it takes your speed down to one bar, as you can see right here. That's attack speed, that's actual speed, that's strength, and that's range. So, two range normally should shoot ab about halfway across the room. Uh, that's, well, that's about half. Yeah. I mean, it sometimes it may lie to you because you know it could say two range, but if you have a range uphill, if you get one of those, it increases your range by about point five. Sorry, point two three. So, you know, it will still register as two, but it's not really two because you know it's above two. It's not three, but it's not you know you know what I mean. It's not three, but it's not two. So not always the most trustworthy things, but you know, they're always trustworthy. Is that a magic mushroom? Ah, it's a mini mushroom, speed and range. So what do I have? Uh, three range now, so I should be able to shoot across the entire room. Pretty dang near. I'm just looking for the boss room. The boss room is marked with a skull on the map. The treasure room is, you know, a, a crown. Uh, raid rooms are marked with the, uh, you know, sword. I will leave the, the official, I mean, not official, but I will leave a game link in the description if you want to play this game. It's a flash game, so you do need flash player, obviously. Uh, this is the the Wrath of the Lamb expansion pack. I mean, it says expansion pack, but I don't understand that because Wrath of the Lamb was the first version of the game, Binding of Isaac, and then they came out with Afterbirth. Then they came out with Rebirth. No, they came out with Rebirth and Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus for DLC, which I don't understand those because you know, they call this expansion pack. But, again, Wrath of the Lamb came first, so it's, like, really confused about that. But as you can see, when he touched me, he did die there. Because, you know. 
Oh, I forgot. You also destroy rocks. You know. Which is pretty handy. Because if you're in a room with, you know, a tinted rock, which will kind of look like this color, then, you know, break the rock. So, mom boss fight is room number five. And after you beat mom boss fight, you unlock the mom's heart. And once you beat the uh, mom's heart nine times out of ten, then you unlock the, the It Lives boss, which is a different version of mom's heart. Which it replaces it. But, yeah. That's worth it. It was not worth it. I mean, I have polymorphous. They should just die in one shot. Why? Okay, just toppers. I'm good. I don't know if there's one more. Yeah, okay. There's. It depends, honestly. Game does whatever. So I do have the dead bird for this, so... I could just chillax, but I want to end this faster, so you know, I'm not going to chillax. There you go. Bye-bye. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard sounds, you know. I try to be as, uh... Well, what can I, what word can I use here? Sincere as possible with the keyboard. But, you know, can't get everything out. much editing as you use you cannot really you know you can you can monitor the sounds you can lower them but you cannot fully get rid of them so I'm trying to talk as much as possible that way you don't you know get uncomfortable as heck just you know there's a tinted of rock blow them up they usually have soul hearts could have a small rock in them if you have blown up 50 rocks or more great my favorite room of them all Kill him. Thank you. I have seven bombs now, which honestly isn't that much. So I have not found the treasure room yet, but you know. Okay, get off the horse. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna hide over here. Okay, 3v1, that's fair. 3v1. Use it. Okay, got the cube meat. So, those bosses are called the Harbringers, and pretty much the Harbringers are the four horsemen bosses. The So, the four horsemen bosses are War, War, whatever that one was, uh, Death, Pestilence, and Dude, oh, what's the last? I always struggle with the last one. Let's just call him the fourth one. Even though he's technically the first one. But you know what? We're not going to go technically. I'll remember it eventually. Anyways, each of them give you a cube of meat. To get all four cube of meats is very rare in a run. But if you get the first cube of meat, it's like a defensive item. You see it's orbiting me and anything that touches it gets damage and will die pretty fast. Uh, the second cube of meat gives you like a, you know, a, a red shot and it no longer, you know, it still becomes a defensive item, so it's pretty much like a defensive item, plus an attack item. Uh, the third cube of meat will give you an undefensive item, as in, it will it will start being like the dead bird, if, except you don't have to get hit to use it, it will just start running around the room. And attacking everything that it hits. The fourth cube of meat just is an upgrade. Oh! Yeah, I don't know about that. That is number one, that is... Or it's golden shot. I think it's number one, but what it does is gives you max attack speed and lowers and brings you down to one rank. Now, I don't know if that's going to work with Polymorphous, but, you know, we'll try it. It did not work. In fact, it just lowered my rank. Wait. It did work. But now my range is one. But Wait, what happened? I'm so confused with this. It looks the same, but it doesn't. I can't quite point this. Yeah, okay. It's gonna register as one, but that does not look like a one to me. But, uh. Yeah.
The only reason I'm doing this is to blow that up. Give me hearts. You know, I should have used it. Alright, level 5. Actually, this is, this is level 6. You know what's awesome how I got both the treasure room and the coin room? Oh, that's not Epic Games. I mean, he's dead now. Dime. Okay, I got Justice. Don't give me four items. Let's go. There we go. It's one of each category. It's one of each subcategory. Now, if you don't know what I mean by subcategory, it could be a dime. Uh, it gives you one coin, so you know, it could be a dime, nickel, or penny. Or even a quarter if you have it. No, actually, no, it can't be a quarter. Um, a bomb could be a little bomb, you know, the one that chases you around the room. could be just an explosive bomb, which is, you know, one that drops and explodes. You know, you can't do anything about it. Or it could be a normal bomb, you know, a pick up a, a ball one. Uh, could be half a heart, soul heart, one heart. Ooh, I've, X I've seen everything. I mean, it's called x-ray goggles, but it's called I've seen everything if you look down the bottom, right? That's the description from the second game. Even though, again, this game came first. What it does is let you see any secret room. Yep. You'll never have to use a bomb for a secret room ever again. Mom's Pearl increased range. Where is it? No, I think it's, I think it's, uh, sorry, 1.25 chance of tears. Oh, super secret room. What? Okay, yeah, okay, okay, that's broken. Ooh, skeleton key, which won't do anything. I've already found the coin room in the tread, and yeah. Oh, not the Chubbs mini boss. He's so fast! He just killed him. He just. Hurt yourself, okay. Chubbs, are you stupid? You're like pin. You just hurt yourself. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. An explosive bomb right here. I don't want to be in this room. I don't want to be in this room. Ah, uh, get me out of here. Actually, this is a bad room. That's a no bueno. <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh my god, that's perfect. You love to see it. That's Epic Games. <laughs> Killed himself. Why is everybody killing himself? Oh my god. that's That was honestly beautiful. That made my debt right there. How he just... <sighs> Fetus the least. I can't wait to get the best item in the game. Voted by the community. Epic Fetus. So it's pretty much like a doctor's missile. If you if you know if you're unfamiliar with the Binding of Isaac series, I'll link the fandom in the description so that way you can you know read up. But uh it's it's like a uh, doctor's missile. Now a doctor's missile it's pretty much just it's an orbital V stat. It calls down a missile strike and or a controllable missile strike, you know, you control it. And it just, you know, yeets them out. Getting greedy here. I already have 52 coins. I don't really need them. Ooh. Arcade. Oh, arcade. Wait, it took my one key. Go outside. Don't leave the house for the day. But, he just, no, okay. Thank God I have the silver key. Okay, I mean golden key. My bad. Because golden key lets you open anything in that entire floor until it, you know, next floor, because then it goes away. Oh my God! I got skittle. I actually did not mean to get it. Well, I've never had this before. I know what it does, but I've never had it. Pretty much, well, just it's like a defensive fly, but you know, it's not. It gives me health. I've just I've wanted that. I literally tried today with like forty coins, didn't get it. It's a one in fifteen chance from that guy. And it's what they call his main item. So you know, once you get it, he's gonzo. Leaves the room. 
How am I supposed to kill him if he's hiding over there? Am I at max health? Yeah. So pretty much it's just gonna increase my chance of getting hearts and give me hearts. Every like two to three rooms. I don't know. I don't know the exact effect. I don't study I'm not an expert on this game. For much you don't know an item, look it up. That's that's what they want you to do. Oh, I now know the difference. Okay, well I ha I didn't notice, but I now know the difference between those two. I mean I know what they do, but the ones with the heads, yeah, they fire those thingies. I didn't see that. I just thought he's you know, I thought it was a random chance. I was about to say, was it worth the key to grab that? And I accidentally opened it, but then I realized I had the golden key. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, this room is dumb. Ready? This is the mom boss fight. This shouldn't be that hard because, you know, I have lots of really good items. Oh well, so I'll grab this heart. I have never like ever seen those guys before those guys. I've seen them twice. And one of them was literally one game before I started this run. Here we go, just like that. That was the mom boss fight, one of the hardest boss fights in the game. It's done. I personally think the hardest boss fight in the game is security. Because of how rigged it is. So that run to the womb levels. These uh now everything does one heart of damage. Yep, as you can see right there, I lost a heart. Never mind, I've lost two hearts now. And everything is gonna get a heck of a lot different. I'm actually gonna use this now. And there's now no more treasure rooms because, you know, I'm on the womb levels. No more treasure rooms. Oh, an eternal leech. Oh, no. I think those ones explode. The black ones do, too. Because, you know, they're like bombs. Oh, yeah, those are internal leeches because they have the internal flies around them. Yeah, they explode, too. Oh, this is a dumb room. Oh, not them. They're like Isaacs. Okay, what the trick is, if you have a cube meat, stand right next to them. Because what they do is they literally mimic your bullets. They shoot um directly across you. They line up. So pretty much you have to hurt yourself to kill them. Unless you have, you know, help from a friend. There we go. Wait, okay. Okay, I was about to say, look at that glitch. These guys are a pain. Now one of the most useful items, I'm just going to say this right now, the most useful item for beating Ma is in fact the Bible, because in the epilogue trailer, the, you know, if the trailer you get from beating the mom the first time, what happens is the Bible comes down and kills her. Hey, if you just don't want to fight mom, because you know, you're lazy, or you just, you know, speed running the game and you get a Bible, instantly kills her, it also instantly kills mom's heart, it's the best item in the game, or one of the best. Ooh, I actually got Daddy Long Legs. I've never had this long. I've had it twice. Oh, sorry, once. 
I know it gives you an uh some some item for beating it. You know we're gonna find that. Doesn't give me any items. Give me Krampus, come on. I guess you don't love me. Last level of the game. Here we go. This would actually be really lit, because I'd get the fourth ending in the game. But yeah, even if you do have your game on mute, the endings do have a... I'm actually going to grab the red patch, but yeah. Even if you're on mute, the endings do have a sound. I can just blow up all three of you. I already have Skatol. I'm not going to grab the Cursed Skull and back, because that item bricks you over half the time. And it teleports you out of the room when you get hit. It's like if you're playing and a boss is one shot, it will teleport you out of the room. You'll get really mad. Well, that was unfortunate. No, Devil Beggar, not today, buddy. <gasps> one up! Oh! <gasps> This is the god run. I've never had one as good as this. Especially since my first time recording this game. Oh my god, already? I already found the boss room. This is going to be easy win. I'm going to actually get a win on camera too. This is actually a legit playthrough. It's actually taking way too long. I used the item. I'm actually going to need that one up because I'm currently at half a heart. Who knows what the one-up does? It will save your life. It will just teleport you out of the room and give you full health again. Here we go. Here's the stage where it becomes harder. Because now mom will start attacking me. Not to worry, my friend. I have the one up. Okay, now this should be an easy one. But I do have to restart the boss fight, unfortunately. Can you die? Thanks. When I hear something broken right now that I've now realized, the shadow of her mom is still there when it disappears. It just gets smaller when she comes back. Now, I think that was intentional, but, you know, it's a little Easter egg. If you look in the middle close enough, you can see the shadow is still there. Hey guys, you ready? Here we go. Bam. This is gonna be another one of the endings. It's gonna put some audio on, so I'll turn up my sound real quick and here we go. I think I should get the way for this ending though. I got the quarter. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining me for this uh, uh, official, unofficial Finding of Isaac series. If you uh, like the series, hit the like, uh, the thumbs up button or like button, whatever you call it. Uh, three likes on this video, and I will do another continuation series. Doesn't matter when, what month. As soon as I hit three likes on this video, I will do another playthrough.
Uh, drop a comment if you really want to see me play some more of this game. It's, it's. I think it's completely out. I don't think they're updating this uh, expansion series anymore. But um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, Math the game, rain it out.